Really happy we got the win. Uh, obviously, we were shorthanded today, and uh, we started out in the zone trying to, I was worried about us getting in foul trouble early on. Uh, the zone obviously wasn't very good for us, and uh, we came out of that second half, our defense, because we did not shoot the ball well. I had to play, and, and or played Tyson too many minutes, and that affected his legs to be 0 for 7. He had probably three or four of those are wide open looks that he's going to make a high percentage normally. Uh, so uh, I, I was really excited, obviously, for Eli, the way he played. Thought he did a great job tonight. Uh, you know, not only uh, scoring, but more importantly, defending or rebounding. He had seven big rebounds and tied it with Eric. Uh, uh, I thought that uh, Holman's blocks were big, and I thought Kegler's defense down the stretch. 23 is a heck of a player, Woodley. He's really good. I mean, you know, he and he's a hard matchup because he's like a six-three power forward who's used to playing down there. And I mean, he made a little jump hook over Eric Holman, who's our best shot blocker, who's long like it was nothing. Just body him. He just knows how to play. He's good. He has two thousand points in his career, so you know he's pretty good. But I'm glad to get the win, and uh, you know, hope that uh, you know we'll keep getting healthy. Why wasn't Lamar Peters available tonight? Lamar, uh, it was about 50 minutes to go uh, on the clock before the game. I sent a manager over there in the pouring rain to his room, concerned about, you know, just the safety welfare. He was asleep. So when the manager went over there, I told him, tell him to stay. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's embarrassing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's embarrassing. You know, everybody uh, has a iPhone that has an alarm on it. So, if it's, you know, it, put your alarm on. And, and that, you know, this not, you know, you already know he's been suspended once already this year. So it's just like, you know, it continues to, to happen, which is really disappointing. What do you think of the minutes that Nick gave you off the I thought Nick's minutes were great. I should have mentioned that. Nick Singleton hit one of our two threes tonight. <laughs> Hit a big shot. Played good defense on Woodley. He he might have played the best defense of anybody on our team on Woodley. I don't think Woodley scored on him during his time that he was on him. And, and Nick's going to get a chance to play. Uh, you know, and you can see he's ready. Like he's in the gym last night working on a shot. I mean, he's like a great kid from a great family. Uh, really excited for him uh, in terms of his minutes and, and his opportunity and taking advantage of it and, and helping his team win. I think Eli played in, in, in his first start. I, you know, he started three of the four games, and we were going to – we started different lineups over in Italy, and we were going to start more different. But I.J. got sick, so we were limited because Mario wasn't eligible yet to play. And so he started three to four games over there and, 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 and played really well for us. So I think this is a big confidence boost for him, uh, the way he played. And I think this is going to lead to good things moving forward. And yeah, he made a big shot, you know, from about the foul line, a little extended late in the game. Uh, but what I was excited about was his rebounding. You know, getting seven boards, that's something that, you know, in the previous game to this, he had two rebounds in 79 minutes. So he gets seven rebounds tonight in 30, 32 minutes, whatever he played, and that's really important for us. What do you think about IJ kind of taking over down the stretch? Yeah, that's what I expect the senior point guard to do. And he made great plays. and. Uh, was really tough and uh, really proud of IJ uh, and you know how he's been a really good leader, a positive leader for these young kids. And you can see how young we are. I mean, we had scout reports where you know we knew ten as a shooter, and he ends up making a three on us, uh, where we're not out there, you know, where we should be. Or twenty is going to drive right. And so our young guys are all. This is all learning, and uh, you know. We, you know, to carry over for the future, we got to keep learning and learning quickly. What did you see on IJ's three there in the second half? Uh, I was excited. <laughs> I think it was 61 all, and it went 64 61. Is that right? Uh, I think it was, I'm not sure. It was, it was a, a tie it was game. Tied, yeah, it was 57 yeah. 56. What, what was it? 57 56. We were down? Uh, well, oh. You were up one, and that made it 60 56. Oh, yeah, you're correct. I got it. Um, that was huge because they called a timeout right away. Uh, and uh, we wanted to make sure we're playing without fouling. I think the Willie came down and hit a three on us, if I'm not mistaken, to cut yeah. it back to one, yeah. correct? That's correct. And yeah. Then had the dunk. Yeah. So, you know, our guys, you know, hung in there and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them. I just said that you were 
telling him to get the ball inside? On yeah. Three corner, that where you tell him that? Yeah, we, 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 uh, we've got to get better at feeding the post. We're not. Uh, you know, the kind of post-feeding team we need to be, uh, whether it's man or zone. We've got to get better at feeding the post, looking and seeing that guy inside. It's something we work on, something we talk about. But, you know, it, it just takes time. I mean, like, uh, you know, we've, we've got all these uh, young guys playing that, you know, have got to learn to get better at seeing and then feeding it. And we got to get better at sealing and holding the guy off inside as well. But we had some good post-feeds. Eric scored three of his four baskets in half-court offense all around the basket. Mario had at least one, maybe two. Uh, you know, so Schneider had one. We've got to get more post reads for Schneider where he can go up and look to score. Uh, he had the one that where the ball came right to him. It just surprised him. It was a big turnover, and lucky that uh, we survived that. How did you see the offense improve or, or decline in game two without Q? Yeah, we're, 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 we've lost uh, a, a lot of ability to put the ball in the basket with Q uh, in these last two games. And, uh, you know, uh, the one, one positive note is that uh, Xavier Stapleton had his first practice yesterday of the year, and he practiced for 40 minutes and really looked good. I mean, just watching him, I got so excited. Uh, and uh, he actually landed awkwardly one time on his bad knee and was fine at the end of the deal. And he gets to go for an hour uh, practice time here on Wednesday. So I'm hopeful that you know, we're going to be very uh, you know, careful with, with him. And uh, hopefully he'll be able to play some minutes for us here right before Christmas and start working his way into uh, you know, earning some minutes, which you know, obviously we need. Do you envision Q being out to practice at all? I know he's shooting a little bit. What yeah, that, 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 you know what? There's uh, yet to be determined here. Can you, um, in the first half, you all shot six free throws in the second half, 14. Was that something you talked about? Attacking? Getting inside more. And we got, we got some stops, so we were getting the ball attacking the rim in transition. And we got fouled on some transition uh, attempts going to the basket. Uh, so, you know, they shot 33% in the second half. They made two threes to start the second half. So from that point forward, you know, it had to be below, uh, you know, 30%. And that, that was, you know, real positive for us. Will you reevaluate Peter's uh, uh, status? Yeah, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. I'm not going to make any decisions here about what, what, what moving forward with him until I've sat and talked with him. I know that one of my assistants spoke to him, and he was obviously very apologetic and, uh, you know, Disappointed in himself, but that you know it is what it is. Mario entered tonight shooting 33 percent and was four of 12. Uh, what, what do you think he needs to do to, to up that shooting percent? Uh, just you know, he had a couple good looks. Like the first play of the game, he had a drive that instead of going off of one foot, he's missed that shot, same shot three times now in our last three home games. Uh, it's just got to go off of two feet and, and make sure I either get scored or get fouled or. Or get it blocked. Those are the three options you have. Uh, but uh, he, he'll, he, and he had some good looks. He made a, you know, he had a wide open three. I thought was going to go in for him. I think this, he'll, he'll be fine. I'm not worried about his shooting. I think he's a good shooter. If you look at Oregon State, I don't know anything about him. Uh, you know, I saw them on uh, TV against Tulsa. I, I know he's a really good coach. They were in the tournament last year. They had everybody back from that team except for their. Uh, Gary Payton Jr. from a year ago. They're long, they're athletic, they're big, uh, they're well coached. They'll play a lot of zone as well as some man. Uh, they run good stuff. Uh, it's going to be a big challenge. They're good. They're, they're going to be a tournament team potentially.